Sunshine. Hey! Emeka, can you just sleep? Sunshine, I need you. It's not me you need. You need Jesus in your life. Jesus. Why are you still angry with me? I am not angry at you. Okay? But I will never let you touch me again. Ever. Why? Because my heart no longer belongs to you. That means your heart belongs to another man? I know you can't leave me for another man. Emeka said, let me be. You know what? Hmm. I can see that you want to be alone tonight in this bedroom. So I'll leave for you. Sunshine. Yeah, let me leave you. What will I do to make her understand I know that? I'm a changed man. Why is she treating me like this? Lord have mercy. I bring to you greetings and all. You are welcome. Thank you very much, sir. So, what can I do for you? Uh, no. I gathered from a reliable source that your own man that is very close to the king. As a matter of fact, it was also reported that you are the only man who can change the king's decision. I don't know who must have told you that. Hmm? But I will never ever allow anyone bring ridicule upon the throne of Hoku Kingdom. Ezo hmm? is an institution. You understand that? We can only advise but he takes his decision when he wants to. Well, let me let me go straight to the point. Uh, the king is trespassing on my vineyard. I want you to advise him to keep off. Mm. Vineyard. Uh, you need to educate me better what you mean by saying that the king is trespassing on your vineyard. Oh. Oh no, the king wants to take what belongs to me. Chinazo, it's for me and me alone. Please, make the king understand. You see, young man, men who are men do not argue with kings on issues that concern women. When the woman has found her way to the conscious being of the king. This must be an exception. Because I have spent my time and resources in building this relationship. And I don't want any king to spoil the relationship for me. Let me tell you something. Hmm? I never wanted the king... Eh? To have anything to do with marrying the second wife. Why? Because God has blessed him with an exceptional wife. Hmm? He is the one who wants to marry the second wife so that he can become that complete king that he has always wanted to be. To enable him to pray on Ajahnle for his people, for the people of the kingdom. So, young man, if that woman that the king has found that he wants to marry is your woman, eh? go to the king and tell him the same thing. Why, you know? Why? Because, because I don't want him hmm, to see as if I am in any way against his decision. A king must be allowed hmm, to take his decision. 
That is why he's a king. Mm. Yes. Oh no. I wanted to meet the king myself on this account. But I felt first, let me come meet you. Because from what I heard, I understand you can influence the king's decision. But it's very obvious you cannot do it. Hence, I'll pull the bull by the horn. I, Emeka, will meet the king on my own. I'll meet him one on one. I'll tell him to leave my wife for me. Let him leave my girl. Okay? If the king should be a king, should be to make him for everything that he is. Good luck. If Igwe had listened to me, things would have gotten to him to this level. That somebody has come now and alleging that the wife he wants to marry belongs to him. To fear. Hmm. Seriously, I don't get it. Why did you give up easily? Whatever, I don't give up. Oh, well, you just did. I only want peace to reign. You want peace to reign this way? Come off it. Do you realize that if you continue like this, your rights will be taken away from you and you will be trampled upon? Nobody tramples upon the queen and no one is going to take my right from me. <laughs> on the contrary, you just did. Come on. Even if my brother wanted to get a second wife, certainly not that bitch from the street. Your brother speaks highly of her. What do you expect? A man who is under the influence of a beautiful girl. Do you expect him to speak ill of her? Dara, you just... You just succeeded in getting me jealous right now. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Let sleeping dogs lie. I already made up my mind to cohabit with her in peace when she comes in as the king's wife. And what if she comes with a bag of trouble? Then I will gladly give her a trailer load of it. <laughs> wow. Is that supposed to be a promise? It is not a promise. It is just the way things will be. Hmm. Do you know that I want peace to reign doesn't mean that I will not open my arms wide enough for trouble should one ray its ugly head. You just made my deal with those words of yours. Your Majesty, as you have made up your mind to marry this lady, I feel you should take a step further by engaging the services of Debiava. Why do I need to engage the service of Dibiafa? For him to tell me that the beautiful woman I saw is no longer beautiful. Your Majesty, it is not all about beauty. It is deeper than that. This woman is going to be married to the king. A situation that will expose her to lots and lots of royal dynamics. A deep yava is needed to look into her spiritual being and tell us if her spirit connects with your spirit in any way. Oh no, I'd like to put an end to this meeting because it's taking us. This is not why I invited you here. I'm getting married to a physical being and not her spirit. I invited you here because I need you to set machineries in motion because you're going to be the one to lead other men in council to her place for her bride price. That is what we should be talking about. Are you saying you are not even bothered with the fact that other known men have gone down with this lady? 
why should I be bothered with details like that? Your Majesty, a woman who is to be married to the king is like a goddess, a secret authority. If it can be proven that other men may have enjoyed her, as a woman, then she's no longer good for the king. Oh no, well, this is not 1926. This is the 21st century. I would not reduce myself to that kind of reasoning and judgment. I don't live in the past. I'm here now. I have a family. I have a daughter who is of age, and I'm certain that she has a boyfriend. And I'm also certain that she might have been sexually involved with her boyfriend out of passion and a great desire to engage with her man. What am I going to do? Throw my daughter away? Tell me. Oh no. What a young lady does before she meets her husband stays in the past. I not her husband's business. Huh? Whatever Chinazo has done with other men, I do not know about. I did not witness. I do not want to know. I am dealing with the woman of today. The one that I interface with. The one that has shown me so much love and so much care. And I want to make her my second wife. Oh no, I believe that I have made my point. Get the other elders together. Let us forge ahead. <sighs> Is this not my bag? What is this? I don't want to believe China Zod did this. How can she bring out my bag? Umuhemelia, did I do anything wrong? This is a joke taken too far. And I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't tolerate it. Keho! How can she bring out my bag outside without my content? How? How? Let me call. Switched off. Chinazo, you've done your worst, right? You've done your worst. Come on, I'm going to Greetings, Your Majesty. Kinika, how are you? I'm fine, Your Majesty. Have you come with your curriculum vitae? Where is it? Oh. Are the photocopies of your result in here as well? Yes, my queen. Okay, you may leave. Thank you, my friend.
both of you sheath your swords. Sheath your swords for a peaceful coexistence. The Father's word is supreme. We cannot challenge him. We can only make humble suggestions. Do you understand? Mother, it baffles me have you made up your mind to have a co-wife. There comes a time in every man's life when he will have to face reality. That is what we are facing now. I'm even tired of reality. I don't even know what to say. Isn't when you are a man. When you grow up and become king, you will understand better what I am trying to say. Your father is a man in authority. His word is final. And we cannot, for any reason, contest it. I'm equally a realist, mother. I understand that polygamy is African way of life. But we should not forget that it has destroyed so many homes. Let's not forget that. As in, uh, to the best of my knowledge, no one plans for polygamy. The situation in this family just buttresses the fact. We have to approach this as very, very intelligent people. Mother, what if this woman in question comes into this family with the intentions of causing trouble? Don't even go there. Because if she tries it, I will give her trouble pro max. If she tries to make any trouble in this family, I personally will give her trouble. Thank you, Roka. To every human, there is a good and a bad side. Do not also forget that she may walk into this palace with a very high level of maturity and respect. Do not shut that part out. Father. Well, we are here to apologize when we spoke to you yesterday. We have pondered over everything. It's not right to speak to you in that manner. We are sorry, Father. It will not happen again. I see. <laughs> My question would be that if your mother had not admonished the both of you over your very insulting remarks towards me, your father, you two have found it in you to come here and apologize. My love, please do not make it even harder for them. The most important thing is that they have realized their mistakes and are apologizing. Have they? Yes. As a matter of fact, Father, we have given our consent for you to Go ahead and marry the woman that will complete you as king. We now understand why, Father. You need her to be fulfilled on all fronts as king. And you have our support because your happiness is our happiness. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Your support means a lot to me. Uh, <laughs> thank you. We'll probably celebrate this uh, later in the day. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> because for some level of uh, family celebration. Uh, Father, it's your call. But I hope um, the woman in question will respect our mother as the first queen. It would interest you to know that the one that I have chosen to come in here as 
the second wife to your father, the king, is an educated lady. Her name is Chinazo. She's an established banker. And you would agree with me that educated people are nice people. Eh? They are usually not always arrogant and irresponsible in their approach to life. So I'm trusting that she would be in her best behavior. I feel it's not a general rule, Father. There are people who are very educated and they are very arrogant. Well, I agree with you. In some cases, you have some people who suffer from what I call superiority complex. So they have chips on their shoulders. Uh, but not Chinazo. Chinazo is sweet and meek. You don't like her when she gets here. Uh, she's not arrogant at all. What if she disrespects our mother? And then I give you my word that I'll kick her out of this palace the moment she disrespects my queen. Can you say this on your four for queen, Father? Stop it at once, Ezema. Your father has made a statement as king, and that is final. Sweetheart, that's okay. Yeah. You must realize that our son has grown. Is it one? Half of me to go. One minute to go, partner. You're grown now. <laughs> and I'm happy. I like your confidence. Uh, but the statement you have made, I will respond to on a different day. Thank you for that. So, how do we celebrate? Yeah. Ah, uh, call Okabu. Tell him to set up the barbecue stand at the usual spot. Uh, and then you get in touch with Okongwa. Okay. And tell him that um, I have asked that he brings a freshly tapped palm wine to the palace. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my God. Finally, there is being a Yes, I think they took that from they took it from you? I'm pretty reserved, you know. You're the, you're the groovy groovy one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come here, man. I missed you, my kid. And I know that that was you. Thank you so much. <sighs> All this for me? You like it? I love them. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to Royalty. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Are you getting final, by the day? What's going on? <laughs> You're making me look final because you take excellent care of me. I'm just getting started. My name is Zach Orji, and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is Yo, Yo, Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Reaching Nolly TV. <laughs>